What's up, everybody? So y'all seen the thumbnail. This is me taking delivery of the Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body. Unfortunately, when I left, I took my camera with me because I had to go out of town to get it. And I left the memory card at home. So this delivery, it is me taking delivery, but it's a little bit after the fact. So I wasn't going to do this video. I wasn't going to start shooting content, but I want to use this as like an introductory video for you guys. I should have recorded everything, but I do got some videos from my phone that I took. Me leaving the dealership, me uh, trying it out, giving it the first pull, stuff like that. But this video is just going to be a quick little walk around the whole car. So y'all stay tuned. I'll be talking to y'all here at the end of this video. This is it guys, Dodge Charger Scat Pack, wide body, my first muscle car, sounds sick, finally taking delivery of it, I'm going to show you guys the interior, just real quick, here's the trunk. A lot of room in there. Back seats, all red goods. Already got a car seat back there. A little dirty, I need to clean it. But yeah. Take a look at the front. Now you see it. So here's more content of the Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Came with the SRT caliper brakes, brake calipers, wide rams. Didn't come with that sticker, I added that. 392 Hemi badge on the side. More shots of those big brakes. This is really my dream car, man. This is a Hellcat, and I plan on getting the Hellcat one day. So let's show the hood real quick. I'm gonna pop that for y'all. It came glass house, but I added ceramic tint to it. There you go, that's the inside right there. Big 6.4. All stock for right now. First mod's gonna be that air box. I'm gonna switch that out before I put a cold air.
So I got this charge charger, scat pack fully loaded, um, every option I could get. Got the uh, technology package, sunroof, uh, just about everything I get, the, the right seats I wanted. I really wanted those red seats. It was a must for me. If I was gonna get the scat pack, the red seats were a must. Um, they had between the peanut butter and then the all black ones and the red ones. I really wanted the red seats. So I traveled from Houston to Austin, Texas to pick this thing up. Um, I had been looking online, couldn't find one locally. Found this one at a certified dealership, called them up, told them, hey, you know what? There's a charger I wanna buy. I got a trade in, whoop de whoop. They told me, hey, come on in. I had one day off in between uh, going back to work. Was working nights, really woke up, jumped in my car and went and picked this thing up, man. Did a little bit of negotiating. Wasn't too bad, but. So we got the interior. So this video is a little late. I did add this vinyl. I did order these uh, ship paddles. I've been watching reviews on uh, YouTube of the car for a while. So I ordered these, put these things on right away. Got this on Etsy, got these on Amazon. Comment down, I can put the link for both of these. Um, so that's the infotainment screen. I'm gonna run y'all by. I'm gonna run some of the stuff inside for y'all. Um, infotainment screen here. Um, has all these different apps. You can change the background. I got a Hellcat background put on because I thought it looks cool. So you got the SRT dashboard. You got your uh, line lock mode right here, launch control. Three different settings. Like right now we're in auto and it shows you the drive modes. Auto, it's all street tune transmission. You can put it in eco mode here, a sport. So you can go, you have different, many different modes here. You got sport, track, track, sport, track, custom, which I've edited. Um, I got my transmission, sport, paddles on, traction on track, suspension on street is more comfortable that way. Steering on sport, it's a little bit more nimble. And then usually I'll keep it in auto though. That's my street tune. That it has right there it just keeps it mild and tame you still get the fun of it but you're not really pushing all the horses it has and then there's the eco button i rarely have used that i may have used it once i bought the car um I, I, um here's the gauge cluster gauge so there you go got to to control off right now um top side at 180 I think I've heard people say it goes to like 176 or something like that. So 180 top out speed. Got your shifter here. Um, I got all the modes here. So the, the driver lane assist here. Um, you got wireless Bluetooth. It does come with Apple CarPlay, AC, dual AC control. I got heated and ventilated seats. So both driver and um, passenger get that. And then I got the uh, sunroof which was a must. I love sunroofs, man. So I love the car. Super excited to bring out some more content. Um, gonna show you all some of the mods I plan on doing. I think the next mod I plan on doing is the exhaust. I'm probably gonna do a mid-muffler delete and then maybe add some tips, some carbon tips. We'll see, depends on the price. Um, we'll go from there. I might add a little bit of things here. I might adjust the sound system. I did get the Harmon Car Harmon Cardone package. Um, it's supposed to be one of the, the it's the tr premium trim sound system, but man, it sounds good, bro. It sounds really good in here, but it ain't it ain't as crispy as I like it. My uh, truck's Bose system honestly sounded way better, so I'm, I may do that down the line. I do plan on changing the cold air intake. I do plan on uh, getting a tune down the line. Eventually, get full bolt on. I plan on getting a, a tune, full bolt on headers. Um, stuff like that, mild upgrades, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break the engine open at all. I'm gonna leave the six four how it is. Man, Scat Pack started researching them. I fell in love with them. They're really fun cars. They're still faster what they are, and it being my first muscle car, 
I didn't want to spend tons of money on something I couldn't control. So uh, down the line, the goal is though, I get more comfortable with driving, get more content for you guys, and eventually go move up to like Camaro Z01, uh, C7, Grand Sport, or maybe Supercharged Z06, maybe a C8, or maybe a Hellcat. We'll see what happens, because I do want to make content on this car, and it's fun driving it, and it's fun making videos. So if you guys please subscribe, I'm going to be giving y'all more Dodge Charger Scat Pack content. I do have other stuff on my channel. Um, as you guys can see, if you want to look through there, I got reviews. Um, I'm mainly shoe reviews, but I'm going to start doing some more tech reviews. So the channel is just going to be all around um, things that I do. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I do real estate. I'm a construction contractor. Um, I'm an oil and gas operator. Uh, you name it, I do a lot of different things. I like to stay busy. I like to make money. Um, and I like to have fun. So you guys stay tuned. Follow this content. Follow this channel. And I'll show you all some more of this badass charger scat pack